Howdy there, folks. Long time no see. Uh, I know this is not the character creation menu of this game. It's actually like two minutes in. But, um, I don't know. I just decided to do this on a whim. I don't know how long this series is going to be at all. It's about 5 a.m. No one's awake. I felt the itch to play some Dark Souls. And about five minutes in, well, longer than that. Character creation took a while, but about a few minutes in, I was just like, eh, you know, let's let's hit record, see what happens. Here is your girl, uh, named after Arwen, Lord of the Rings. Not for any particular conduct or anything, just because I like the name. Arwen here is going to be doing a quality build. Also, that uh, that that attack sounded really loud in, in my ears, at least. So let's let's adjust as we go. I tested my mic sounds a little bit, but I did not test uh, the game volume too much against it. So uh, the game might override me a little bit here. Hopefully not too much. We shall see. If it does, we will we will adjust. Let's go uh, stomp uh, Mr. Man here as we as we usually do. But yeah, this build's gonna be a quality build. I just want this person to be able to late game wield like a just a metric fuck ton of weapons, just whatever I want basically. And that's the route we're gonna go. I'm not gonna be really good at magic or anything. This would be just purely physical. All of my builds that have like a lot of weapon variety, they're all like faith or intelligence builds, so they're not really They they can't wield stuff like Abyss Watcher swords and stuff very well. Cause they're more they're they're really more quality. A little late on that roll. Easy peasy. We'll see how the armor situation works out. Usually, when I start a run, I do like a conduct of some kind with armor, but I just I don't think I can be bothered to mess with a conduct too much this time. Uh, I've done a few already. Most of them haven't been recorded. A few of them were streamed years ago. I used to stream this game a, a good amount. I, I'm pretty sure when I did that one like 24 hour stream for charity for Extra Life, uh, pretty sure most of it was spent on Dark Souls for good reason. If any game could hold my attention for an entire day, I guess it'd be this one. I guess. Let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, visit Andre, get our Estes moved around properly. Actually, first, let's go get a free Estes. Just because we can. I wonder if someday they'll remaster this game and fix this. Although it almost doesn't seem like, you know, it almost seems intentional they let you do that considering that there's a there's an item to loot like right there. I don't know. I'm probably crazy. Every time uh, Millie hears them talk, she's like, why don't you give them pump or rum? They're, it's a very clear request. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> All right. Covetous serpent ring. I did actually grab the Estes, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm so used to playing this game that uh, 
sometimes I just sit down and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of going through the motions. I don't know if any of you uh, familiar with the game kind of do the same thing after a while. You just you just get used to all the runs and stuff. You kind of know what you're doing. And then your hubris leads you to get your ass beat. And it's a uh, great tragedy. Not great enough. Alright. Let's go kill us a sword master. I don't anticipate much of a struggle here. Oh, sword master. Mr. Man, let's kill his uh, potential backup. That's in case you screw up and have to go up the stairs. I'm not going to clear everything, though. There's still some guys down in that direction. Hopefully we don't screw up so bad that we attract them. We probably will, though, considering I'm not even bothering to use a shield or a helmet. Even though it would make no difference to my carry weight if I were to use those things. I'm just, I'm just full of pride and greed. Not that much greed, though. I'm not getting parried. Come on. Yeah. You chose wrong. You chose wrong again. Oh, I chose wrong that time. That was my fault. Oh, shit. <laughs> that could have been bad. Got his ranges pretty much clocked in at this point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hit now. <laughs> There you go. Just gotta know how much reach that attack has. An extra early 2,000 souls is is never something to be upset about. That, my friends, is an extra level. Level me, knave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tend, the, you tend the stuff. I know. It's cool. Thus, we begin our journey. Fifteen, fifteen ain't bad to start out with. Also, uh, I need to take that blue Estus out of my inventory. I do not need it. Ashen Estus, blue Estus, whatever. You know what I mean. It's for the for the pansy mages. Their Estus, well, and weapon arts, but. Those don't exist. Shh. Perfect opportunity. It, I do like the look of this character. I think I did an alright job. I... What was that noise? Was that a summon sign sound? Sure was. Um. Really? These people are facing out like they're gonna. They're they're wanting to help run through the area. Um. Fuck it. Oh, I don't have a sign. Shit. I'm suffering. <laughs> I'll summon someone. Fuck it. Why not? We get a whole crew together. It'll be sick. Get the posse. Oh, 
I don't even have to work anymore. I'm retired. Soul of a deserted corpse that wasn't even worth my time. I was a fool. fuckers. <laughs> Not even a chance. Let me do a tag the fire real quick. Very polite. Nice. that thing right now. Oh, we're gonna... Are we gonna raid it? I, I don't care. Oh, okay. We're going for it. Got it. I just like the distant sounds of them killing things in here. Oh, we're getting killed. Goodness. That is, uh, that is rough for you. No, don't get hit, you four guys. This isn't good. No, my friends. Bro, what are you doing? Nice. The strength. Okay, cool. We can go free Grey Rat later. Uh, I think we should be able to make it to Vort without too much issue. Soul of a deserted corpse, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> doing better than I am. That was like two misses. <laughs> Ripperoni. That was the worst. That almost was the worst. That would have been a waste of health. Oh boy. This thing. us back.
What a gentleman. Okay, it's time. What the hell is that? Oh, armor, I see. All right, time to kick some ass. Really, Vort is not much of a challenge. Uh, it's going to be even less so with this guy helping us out. Hell yeah, our character looks sweet. I love it. Big fan. Okay, we'll skip the rest. Let's just sit back here, let our ally come in. They should be in now. Now that they've turned, our turn. Gotta do the roll, buddy. Yep, we win. That guy's way high level for this, or like he—he he may not be high level, but he's probably uh, what's the word I'm looking for? His character is built for this, basically. He, he has weapons that I don't think you can have till much later in the game. So he might be one of those guys that's running around at, like, level 20. But has, you know, like, in-game equipment. That, that does happen. People play the game like that. How, usually, however, they use that method to kill low-level players, you know, invade them with much better gear than what they can have. So, good to see that from someone who's helping. So, Dark Souls is a precarious and duplicitous place. You know, they can be invading me tomorrow. A Lothar Knight Sword. Hell yeah, that'll be better than a long sword, I think. Pro tip, if you're not familiar. Enemies with big shields are really scary because, well, if you're one-handing your weapon, which most of you might be because a lot of people lean on shields instead of iframes and backstab, uh, if you two-hand your weapon, you can actually attack through most shields just fine. Uh, it doesn't stagger you. Only, like, crazy powerful shields will still stagger you, so... And that, c that can extend to lighter weapons, too. Some, some weapons you would expect to maybe get staggered on shield? Well, not if you two-hand it. It's too bad for Dark Souls Remaster they didn't add omnidirectional rolling while locked on. It's a real missed opportunity. I tried playing it, and, and really, you know, graphics are fine. The graphics still, like, they don't really hold up, but the gameplay is good enough to hold up, but... Uh, the lock-on system is just completely useless. You just can't lock on at all. Because of that uh, four-directional rolling in Dark Souls 1. I, I didn't realize how bad it was until I went back to it. I don't know if I can take him. Usually, the answer at this stage is no. Unless, you know, you just play it really well, which I don't. No, oh, damn it. Not the extra damage. I'm really lucky he didn't pursue an attack there. It would have killed me. There's a gap right there in that second attack where you can you can do a hit. You can also parry during the 
during his second swing there. Fine, just fine. That's the easiest time to parry Lothric Knights. The first swipe is a little too fast. Yeah, yeah, give me my banner. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the Way of Blue Covenant. Sure. Put it on me. If anyone invades me, I will hopefully summon someone to help at 5 a.m. But I've got, like, the world gameplay turned on, so... Should be fine. You know, there. I might summon someone from... I don't know. Somewhere else on the planet. Australia. Except they would come in summoned upside down. I'm not going to explain that joke. I leave you to learn it on your own. All right, more levels for us. Game over, yeah. Hell yeah. 1717, I like what I'm seeing. Now, how good is the Lothric Knight, like, this early? Can I even use it? No, I need one more dex. Bastards. It probably takes, like, twinkling. No, no, it's, I think it's just a regular sword. I don't know. Maybe it takes twinkling titanite. Maybe it doesn't. We will not find out now. We'll find out in maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. We're going to go kill the tree, as is our birthright. <sighs> and then I suppose we'll make ourselves ugly. Via, via Yol. You ever just build your, uh, your, your castle in a mountainside? I think it'd be hard to, like, access water from there, but what do I know, right? I don't know about you, but I'd be screaming bloody murder in this situation, but I, I guess we expect to be carried away by gargoyles? I don't know. Also, those people do not know how to thatch a roof. What the hell? That's that's not even like the, the, the ravages of time. That's just lazy. Or maybe it's hard to access wood because it's in a mountain. Actually, no. There's plenty of wood. Well, it might not be like lumber. You can see the giant from here. I forgot about that. And he shoots too. How cool. Seems like a waste of arrows. No shit, no hidden path ahead. Eh. I didn't get to read that. A large soul of a deserted corpse. Wow, you really spoil me, game. What is that, 100 souls, 200 souls? whoop de doo Little shortcut here. A little long cut for them. Uh, alluring skulls, those can be handy in this next section. If you uh, if you get pinned too bad. What's up, Yol? How you doing, buddy? I will not listen to your to your prattle. Your idle chatter. Some homeward bones over here. Those are also always handy to have on you. Get five at this point, which is plenty. It'll take you through like half the game. You maybe need, I don't know, something like 10 total would be a good number to uh, get through to Gundir, the second version of Gundir. Let's see if I can get away with bullshit here. Uh, kinda. More than I expected. Fucking dogs, man. Dogs in video games, and especially the Soul series, series, just god awful. Uh, let's do the run to the bridge, I suppose. I won't summon anyone for this. I don't need to. I don't intend to really play through the area exactly. There's not much point. 
there's there's some stuff here. There's not much like great stuff. There's some okay stuff. Like that shield that I'm not even gonna pick up. I don't care. Don't need it. Not worth my time. No. None of that, please. Loretta's bone I do want because I'll go free a uh, gray rat at some point for some wares. Uh, I think I'll free him before I kill the tree. That'll probably be uh, good for us. Get get some early gear from him. Get his Y-hander, a bastard sword, all that good stuff. I like clearing this area out a little bit before I dive in. Just makes it safer and it's it's easy souls. You know, these, these guys aren't much of a threat. She She's a threat, of course. Uh, maybe I'll do, I'll do the fight with her, sure. She's got a peasant behind her, though, helping her out. Damn. I was hoping to uh, exploit the, <laughs> the backstab uh, invincibility to avoid the magic, but... Couldn't quite get the attack I wanted. I do like their uh, their queerosses. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> I don't play against these things much. I find them to be dangerous. Well, at this stage. Not so much later. Okay, let's just grab our shit and get out. The, the problem is they have a lot of health and a lot of poise, and I can't really get at the pilgrims, or the, I'm sorry, not pilgrims, the, like the peasants behind them. Because I can't get through the big girl. It's it's cyclical. I can't get at either of them because of either of them. It's a good pairing. It's, it's smart that they put them together like that. I don't like that I'm being chased by thralls, because I feel like thralls are like dogs and they almost teleport behind you. Nothing personal, kid. That's okay. We're fine. See if any of them make it. Uh, almost, yeah. Look at that. One step further and he would have knocked us out of the bonfire, probably. Hmm. Uh, let's do the fight with, uh, your boy over here. Hodrick. And, uh, we'll call this a video. I'll check my audio levels and see how we're looking. Uh, probably the game will end up being turned down a little bit, if I had to guess. And I do. That's the sound of a crystal lizard about to teleport off to our left. It has a sharp gem in it, which the first sharp gem you can get in the game. Very valuable for dex builds to, to know about that. He's up on a little ramp over there. I think I have a shield piercer attack on this sword. I should use it because if he pulls his shield out, he's usually looking to uh He's usually looking to do a parry. This is the time you want to attack, but he he has an anti uh poise kind of like he'll he'll poise through attack that thing. Um, the timing on that is kind of tricky to dodge, so I kind of just stand back while he's doing that stance right there. And see, this he's looking for a parry usually. See, see that? That's what I was talking about. I guess that doesn't work. Or maybe it's the other weapon art I need to use. Either way, I almost died. That wasn't great. I'm not a fan. This fight is still well in hand, but can, can I get away with this one maybe? Okay, here we go. See, and you can't attack through that either. He, he can be actually kind of frustrating for this kind of character. Uh, a ranged character is better in this little duel. Also, this Saul dude up there can get attracted into the fight pretty easily, so gotta watch out for that. Yeah, that might be better, because I don't think he, he'll parry that in time. So he just got some extra damage. Yeah, go for it. He likes creating... God damn it. <laughs> he likes creating those little uh, Healy portals over there to heal himself. But of course, it works on you too. So. God, motherfucker. <laughs> mm, he might win. No, 
would be a shame. And we're both just gonna heal the fool. It is more of an advantage for him. I wonder if he's attracted to skulls, that'd be funny. We're doing great. Oh, even his heavies uh, have that much poise, huh? Lovely. Two complete that game. <laughs> he poised through that anyways. Mm. Yikes. That thing does have really awkward range, though, so you can get out of range fairly easily. Let's see if we can knock him off. Bye. Just be patient. Keep swimming. All right. Let's get the, the world's least exciting side grade <laughs> in our sword now. Whoops. Speak my heart's desire. My heart's desire is to use all the weapons. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide me. Indeed. I don't even think it's an upgrade, actually. It's not. <laughs> what? Same same move set, I think, too. It looks cooler. Oh, it has a thrust. Ooh. Interesting. It's a quick thrust, too. Okay. It has a better move set. Then we also have a loose iron. I never use these. I'm pretty bad with them. But, uh... I'll roll with this for a minute. Sure. Do I want to bother upgrading anything? Uh, yeah, I guess a little bit, maybe. Don't need that much. Give me one on the Lucerne, I guess. Use this for a hot minute. It has a strike damage, I think, so it'd be better against something with armor, but that's not what we're going to fight, so oh well. Maybe we'll get a boss weapon in a minute. We'll see. I don't think we'll have the strength. These guys are unnecessarily tough. Uh... They have too much reach. They have too much poise. You can't backstab them. They cause bleed. They just suck ass to fight all around. They have attacks that knock you down. Just all around stinkers. So, there's your demonstration. Um, and now you will understand why I will never fight one of these again. The, uh, the reach on the Lucerne is quite pleasant, though. Quite pleasant, indeed. What is that? Is that a, is that a duel me sign? Man, I would love to summon you. I don't want you to get shot to death by the giant. Put your summon sign by the boss. I'll summon for the boss. I don't care. It's a stupid boss anyways. I don't like this boss. This is probably my least favorite in the game. I think, I think there are bosses that are more annoying, for sure. It's just definitely a gimmick. Both of the gimmick bosses are my least favorites. Uh, that would be mostly... Oof. 
what's his face? The guy that sits in the middle of the abyss with the wristbands. I don't remember his name. He's very forgettable. It starts with a W. Wolnir. Wolnir. Yeah, that's him. Okay, doke. Let's uh, let's give this a shot. Don't have a whole lot of Estus or anything. I forgot to actually turn in one of my Estus shards to get it made into a flask. Whoops. Now I wish I'd upgraded this twice because I could have one-shotted these a little bit easier. That's okay. Uh, it's it behooves you to clear out some of those before you go in, but it's a little late now. So, oh well. Got him. This is going to be good to hit his back part that he'll expose in a minute. Interesting. He didn't do his smash. Okay. Got a heal. A good one shot, man. God damn it. Stop. Fucking go down the stairs, sir. I hate that shit. <laughs> this boss has a ton of gimmicks. It's just it's just a gimmicky boss. It's just irritating. I don't know. I don't like it. <sighs> We're gonna have to back. That sucks. Let's just cut our losses. I'm not gonna fight the rest of that with no no Estes. Professionally dub him. Dumb. Okay. Uh, nothing to do but get get back out there, try it again. Really. Do not usually lose to that boss. That is a tragedy for sure. I'm very saddened. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the Lucerne. It's the Lucerne's fault. It, it is better to go with a horizontal slashing weapon into that boss because, I mean, it, it, you'll miss less. Oh well. They, they literally designed this to, to prevent you from getting into this house, which is the most fucking irritating thing. It's because the game, the game really wants you to skip this, uh, boss. And then come back later uh, after you make peace with the giant, but I don't, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. Does the boss fight start right away this time? No? Okay. Well, that's good at least. Tall piece of shit. Not enough damage. Look how close we are to lethal. That sucks. Okay, yeah, just randomly activate. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I, I dig it. I dig it. I'm hip. Go look at the fucking alluring skull, you assholes. <laughs> Not yet, huh? Come on. have missed that makes me move slow. It's super cool. Okay, now that we can be done with that, please. Okay, next. Yeah, this is great for hitting his back part, though. I like that. Yeah, he didn't even get to roll on me. Sweet. Yeah, this weapon has some upside for this fight. Really good for this, too. Right here. Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, there's one I forgot somewhere. Yeah, his leg right there. See that? Come on. All right, lastly, usually just go for the hand. He has other pustules you can hit, but not easily with a weapon. <laughs> I wonder if any of y'all were screaming at the screen for that. I almost uh, forgot to put on my silver serpent ring. I should have earlier, too. Whoops. Also, didn't I say that I was just going to do the fight with Hodrick and then call it a video? Oops. Oh, well. No harm done. I suppose, folks, I'll spend these souls next time. See you then.